Hello everyone and welcome. What we can't complain about today is the weather. Absolutely perfect playing conditions. I'm Derek Ray, ready to bring you match commentary. And alongside me is Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you the cut and thrust of the championship. It's Millwall and they take on Coventry City. Thanks Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly. Pinning the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully we get a really good game here. Murray Wallace, number 11, Scott Malone, number 17, George Savile. Now the Millwall starting 11. Well, they're playing with a 5-2-3, as we can see it here. But somebody has to step in to join those two midfield players. It could be one of the fullbacks or it could be one of the centre-halves. So keep an eye out for that. And introducing the visitors lineup today. Well, they're matching up here, so it's a case of whether they can impose themselves on the game. If they can get the ball into their front three with quality, they will pose a real threat today. Thank you. Enjoy the game. And now they get the ball rolling. Going well. Tremendous block. Nicely timed tackle. High quality defending. Now a decent position. Scott Malone. Will he play it in? He's lost it. Hamer. Promising sequence. Callum O'Hare. Gustavo Hamer. Can they get in behind them? Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. This is a message from Benjamin Walker. Benjamin Walker, can you please come to reception? Your wife is waiting for you. Callum O'Hare could be dangerous and I must say that was a very promising attack the alarm bells were sounding opportunity the keeper diving magnificently to make sure he got there So the corner played into the box and the corner too close to the goalkeeper that time it looked highly promising but they got nothing out of it it needs an accurate cross and a bit short with the clearance well, they survived the attack. Oh, 
Bennett. Read it superbly to take back possession. Still level here, but the pressure escalating. Physically strong and secure on the ball. Now Saville. He has time to play it over and pull back. And a goal! One nil it is. They've been pushing for the opener and now they have it. Well, here we can see it again. He's shown outstanding vision to find the perfect cutback. And then just look at the finish, Derek. He reads the flight perfectly and absolutely smashes it beyond the goalkeeper. There's just no stopping that. The match has restarted, 1-0 here. Getting forward. Crossing possibilities. Callum O'Hare. And you can sense the threat is there. The delivery, a deft clearance. Well, he's given it away. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. Well, he's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Stuart? Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. The two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. Scott Malone. Mitchell. Well, beaten easily here. It's a high level tackle. Brilliant. Callum O'Hare. Can they trouble the opposition this time? Giving the ball to the opposition that time. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Well, the hosts, as you can see, haven't enjoyed the majority of possession. But when they have won it back in midfield areas, their counter-attacking has been excellent. They'll be happy with the way the game's going at the moment. Oh, surely! There it is! Two to the good now, and that gives them a buffer. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just look how well-balanced he is. He knows he's going to be under pressure, but he shows great composure to hit the target. Well, a second goal for them here. To the final half hour. Hamer.
in a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here putting his body on the line Wallace getting in there to intercept patient build up at the moment well they were very patient but they no longer have the ball counter attacking very much an option Benikafobi Scott Malone high quality defending well we're inside the final quarter of an hour now decent position and a wonderful diving save to deny the opportunity And time for the change now. <laughs> Who can he pick out? And he's got the beating of his opponent and keeping it out. Can someone get on the end of this? Terrific block. Over the touchline for a throw-in. Todd Kane. And played in. Well, it didn't really work the keeper when all was said and done. George Evans. George Savile with it. Mason Bennett. Well, that's in the remit of any referee to stop play. It's what he's going to do so the player can receive attention. So an uncontested drop ball after the injury. Goalkeeper's ball every day of the week. And space for them here on the flank. Delivering it into the box. Plattered away. And the referee spotted the foul, but has played advantage. The referee blows for full time, it ends at a victory for the home team. No complaints from the fans here. Well, Derek, it was a comfortable win in the end. Fully deserved their victory because they dominated every aspect of the game. It was a really good result for them here today. And in the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Stuart. Yeah, he'll be happy coming off the pitch. He worked hard, he was always involved in the game and he scored a very good goal. That was an impressive performance today.